So I'll be honest. At first, I was too embarrassed to share this video. You know, the internet is full of silly drills and practices that get destroyed in the comments section. Then I thought about it. Every professional firearms instructor I know sing the praises of dry fire training. And every combatives or CQB professional I know propose that movement saves lives. And finally, every martial arts master I rank highly proposed the value of creative problem solving. They all believe in mindful repetition, solo training, and adaptation. So reluctantly, I'm presenting you an idea that combines all of these philosophies together. It'll look silly to some, and actually it is a bit silly, but so much of good training looks that way, doesn't it? Like shrimping drills in jujitsu or even shadow boxing can look a bit silly. And I'm sure the first guy to fill a bag with sand and started punching it was ridiculed as well. But look, I am not an expert at any of this, not even close. So please seek credible training from verifiable experts. I'm just a dude who thinks about things and I'm thick skinned enough to risk embarrassment for the potential that this might actually help someone. So here's what you do. Tie some paracord to the base of a swivel chair. Pull it enough to gain momentum and then cycle through your dry fire drills with added layers of empty hand combatives. Whatever tactic for immediate action you believe in will probably work for this. You know, spear elbows, stiff arms, front kicks, and movement combined with your draw stroke and uh, pistol fundamentals. And if you find any value in this, or even if you think it's silly nonsense, let me know in the comments. Here it is. All right, that's the end of the video. Let me have it in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're subscribed. If not, please do consider it. Make sure to like this video if you found it valuable. Thanks guys, peace.